What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about YouTube because of course we are. YouTube, they, they're they just always doing something man. They're, they're always messing something up, always doing something to just freak everybody out, get everybody mad, get everybody upset over something and you know it's my job to report on it at this point. I, I make videos and I talk about stuff. This is the kind of stuff that I talk about. I enjoy talking about these things, telling you guys what's going on. I enjoy getting on here and rambling about this kind of stuff because at the end of the day, it, it affects me. It affects all of us pretty much because we're all using this website. I just don't really understand the logic behind it. You would think that they would kind of you know, look at this and be like, maybe this isn't a good idea. Maybe we should word this better and you know, this is the kind of thing that we tell them time and time again, like, YouTube, you need to word what you're saying better, you're coming across horribly, you're not really wording what you're saying very well, and when you do that, it creates a lot of confusion with the community, and when you do that, people have no idea what context you're saying things in, we don't know what your true intentions are, we don't know what these intentions lead to, we have no idea what you're doing, we have no idea what is actually going to happen six months in the future, and all these massive changes that you make to the platform, we really don't know what they're going to end up doing, even though you're supposedly trying to communicate these things with us in real time. We don't really know what's going on. And of course, we got another example of that going on today. And I'm the YouTube news. That, that's what I am now, guys. So I guess let's go ahead and get right into the news. Uh, Keemstar, I guess, here. And uh, well, there's going to be a new Terms of Service update coming on December 10th of 2019. Now, usually you're like, oh, okay, that, that's not too big of a deal. Most of you don't read the terms of service, don't even lie. No no one reads the terms of service of pretty much anything. It's just, it's too much effort. Let's be honest, there's like 90 pages of legal jargon to read through. It's just, it's a bunch of garbage that people don't want to read through. People are really freaking out about a very small subsection of the new terms of service update coming uh, actually a month from today now that this video is coming up, where apparently YouTube is going to be deleting channels that are no longer commercially viable. Of course, that doesn't really specifically mention, you know, any examples. It doesn't give any, I guess, guidelines on what is commercially viable, what isn't commercially viable, anything like that. No real description of what's going on. It just, that's what they're going to be doing. So I'm going to show you guys on the screen right here. This is the update that they gave everybody when they sent out the notice here. Terminations by YouTube for service changes. YouTube may terminate your access or your Google accounts access to all or part of the service if YouTube believes in its sole discretion that provision of the service to you is no longer commercially viable. And people are freaking out about this. People are just, they, they don't know what to do. You know, people are just they they have no idea what this means and rightfully so honestly because as you just saw that is very vaguely written no one has any idea what this means except for google like who honestly knows what that means legitimately i have no clue you probably have no clue it, it just it's not very well written it's not well defined what does it mean when something is no longer commercially viable on youtube does that mean when a channel gets demonetized too much does that mean when a channel is never monetized you know, it, does it mean when they don't meet a certain threshold of, you know, money per month? If a channel's monetized but it's not making $500 a month, what, what does this mean? Why would YouTube or Google suddenly in the year 2019 ever put this into the terms of service to delete an account when it's no longer commercially viable? No one has any idea, no one knows what the hell's going on, and it is causing a frenzy because... You know, a lot of small creators, they don't make, you know, millions of dollars a month. I don't make millions of dollars a month. We're, we're not out here. What's that? Ryan's World, that kid who made like $27 million or something ridiculous in like 2018. We're not out here on that level. You know what I'm saying? So what is this? What's going on here? No one has any idea what is going on. And Google refuses to really let anyone know. They refuse to tell us what the hell is going on with this. Now, here's my personal thoughts on this. I don't think that this just means that they're just going to be wiping out accounts. Now, I know there's like a lot of people, you know, freaking out who think that, you know, oh my god, I'm not monetized, so YouTube's going to be wiping out my uh, my ability to upload or my channel. I really don't think that's the case. Let's be really honest here. YouTube, why would they do that? Why would YouTube, why would they go through and just wipe out content that is on channels that aren't monetized? Like, critically think here. I'm one for, you know, bashing on YouTube when they do something stupid. But let's critically analyze this and try to make the most sense of it. When you compare the amount of content that is monetized to the amount of content uploaded that is not monetized, the vast, vast majority of content on YouTube is not monetized. 
by a ridiculous margin. Most people don't build up channels to that point, so most content is not monetized in the first place. So you really think that YouTube is gonna go through and just, you know, purge the entire platform of all of that unmonetized content? The 99% of all videos on YouTube? You really believe that though? Not only is that not like a logical thing to do, because essentially they're wiping out their entire user base, they're wiping out all the content on their platform pretty much, and on top of that, it would just be a PR nightmare. It just isn't really a viable decision like, oh, okay, well, just now, here in the year 2019, let's just take out everything that isn't monetized on the website. Not really something that, you know, the second most popular website on Earth is just gonna do overnight. So that was something that I saw that I don't think makes much sense. People were freaking out about that, not necessarily uh, understanding the logic behind that one, but once again, I can understand why people freak out and get to that point and, you know, get so worked up to where they think that that's what's going on. Because when YouTube puts out these vague fucking descriptions of these things in the text, with no explanation of what's going on, what can you do except let your mind wander to the point that this kind of thing happens? To where you have no idea what's going on. To where you have no idea what to think. Oh my god, is my channel destroyed? Am, am I commercially viable? Oh wait, I'm not monetized. I must not be commercially viable. Nobody who's monetized is commercially viable. Are they taking out all their videos? Well, they don't say what they're taking out. They don't say what might get terminated, so they must be doing this. That That's all YouTube's fault. And this is, like I said, like 95% of all of these situations where, you know, I come on here and I make a video and the YouTube community reacts negatively to a YouTube decision. This is the sh this is the problem right here. YouTube, they make these sweeping decisions or they make these announcements that are so vague. They have no description behind them. They have they make these announcements that just apparently have so much effect on the entirety of the platform, but nobody has any idea what's going on. No, the curtain is completely closed. And we're on the outside of it, but everything that's supposed to be changing our lives is being done on the other side of that. Commercially viable termination is on the other side of that curtain. Nobody knows what that means out here, but we only have a month to get ready for it. Just think about that. We literally have, from today, one month to be ready for this terms of service change, and we still don't even know what this means. We have no idea from YouTube themselves what this even means. And they've been through this same exact situation, like literally, just take this exact announcement, cut some of the words out, and just paste other words into it. They've been through the same exact situation like 19 other times. Because for some reason, they just haven't learned the lesson. Like, hey, when we're going to make a major announcement about the platform where we're apparently affecting, like, literally everybody with something as major as the terms of services where everyone has to agree to them, maybe we should actually, like, word it to the point that everyone can actually understand what's going on. But no, they, they apparently just don't get that. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I understand what this means because I don't. I I'm not going to sit here and, you know, pretend like I've got some sort of grand idea on this whole thing. I would think, honestly, and this is my personal opinion, if somehow, like, a, let's say a YouTube account was costing YouTube a lot of money somehow to keep running it, I don't know, like, um, I guess a good example maybe would be, like, if somebody was doing a lot of maybe super chatting and they were charging it back constantly and YouTube was taking a lot of fees in, to have to keep, you know, charging those back, maybe then they would just terminate that kind of account because obviously they're just, they're incurring a bunch of fees to have to keep, you know, processing those chargebacks and stuff. Maybe that's what this means? I don't know. That's the problem. You have to sit here and just hypothesize instead of just knowing up front. And all of this is coming on the back of this whole change with COPPA and everything that's coming in literally just like 10 weeks. So there's like two major events coming right on the horizon here for YouTube channels that we don't even know the effects of. This whole COPPA thing, where YouTube settled with the FTC and you know, you're gonna have to start marking your content as kid-friendly or not, is gonna be so, you know, pervasive on the platform that if you get it wrong, if the YouTube bot deems you wrong, you may have to pay fines of upwards of $40,000 per video for getting this wrong. Which let's be honest, how many YouTube creators do you think can afford a $40,000 per video fine for getting that wrong? when a video, at best, will make a couple hundred dollars in its lifetime. The platform is literally trying to kill itself. And I don't understand what YouTube doesn't see. I, I, I don't get how these people at the corporate headquarters 
are not seeing it from our perspective. I don't understand like what's going on over there. Like what, what isn't getting through their heads? This kind of move here doesn't help when everyone is already stressing over the fact that $40,000 per video fines is right around the corner because YouTube doesn't really seem to care. YouTube's not on our side. I don't see YouTube speaking out in favor of creators, even though they're supposed to be, you know, standing by our side any other time. They're not in defense of us now. It's amazing how, you know, right by our side YouTube was with Article 13 and 17 when YouTube was going to be completely plowed by government regulation with copyright and everything and they were going to be completely destroyed by all that stuff it's amazing how that you know how they were oh we're all for creators we're all for creators man we're all standing up in defense of you guys we support you but hey guess what at the same time we're just going to mass demonetize the whole platform and we're going to constantly give you these stupid rule changes and not tell you what's going on so we can stress the entire platform out we're not going to tell you what's going on behind the scenes and hey when those cop rules come in we're not going to stand by your side we're, we're not going to make any public announcements and, and try and help you work against the ftc it's funny how susan watch kiki and everyone over at youtube i, I haven't seen any tweets or anything from them you know, talking about COPPA, talking about how, you know, that needs to be stopped and to help protect us from those $40,000 fines a video. Broadcast yourself used to be like the whole slogan of everything here on YouTube. You know, oh, you get on here and you broadcast yourself. And it used to be so creator oriented. You know, you used to get on here and make videos for everyone else about yourself. And now the people at the very top are, are Jimmy Kimmel and all these other talk show hosts and celebrities and people that YouTube want to push. It's okay, they're going to be commercially viable. I'm sure of it. They're commercially viable. Who knows what that means, but I'm sure that they're going to be in that commercially viable group regardless of what's going on. It changed uh, path very quick in this video, and uh, I know that, but I, I just don't see what you guys don't see. I, I don't understand, like, what what's going on over at the headquarters, like, why you don't pick up the pace what, what you don't understand about, hey, can you please communicate things a little bit better? It, it, it literally just takes better wording. You type on a keyboard and this issue is fixed. It's not hard. So I guess that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here. Follow me over on Twitter at Subtoptimus. Join the Discord down below. Thank you to my channel members. And until my next video, this is Optimus. Waiting to see what commercially viable is because, uh, well, that that's the only time we're going to figure this out is when, you know it really starts hitting the fan and uh yeah signing out